welcome everyone. In this video, we will determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors in series. Alright, so what does uh, that mean? Well, it means that we have a resistor like this and a resistor like this. And let me call the first one R1, the second one R2. We have a current that is going through these resistors. And from the diagram, you can see that the same current is going through each resistor. This means that they are in series. This is by definition. Uh, so how can we determine the equivalent resistance of these two resist resistors? In other words, if we were to replace these two resistors with a resistor, what should uh, the resistance of our resistor be? So what is our equivalent well you might know the formula for this you might say all right we just add r1 and r2 but do you know where the formula comes from if you don't let's see where it comes from and if you do know it that's great so what do we know well we know that the voltage across this resistor so if we have a voltmeter here and it gives us a value of V1 and another voltmeter here, which gives us a value of V2. And let me draw a final one through this. And oh, I will raise again, anyway. This is V3. We know that, we know that V1 plus V2 is equal to V3. Now, using this, equal, this uh, identity and using Ohm's law, which states that voltage is equal to I times R, we will drive a relationship. Well, we will drive, drive an equation for R equivalent in terms of R1 and R2. So, what do we have? We say that V1 is equal to I times r1 and of course v2 is equal to i times r2 right we multiply the resistance value with the current that is passing through it to find the voltage across that resistor so oops by the way i made a typo here this here right here it is not v3 well actually i said v3 here as well <clears throat> so let me change this then well, actually, you know what? I don't want to use unnecessary subscripts. So let's just call this one V and, and this one V as well. Sorry for that, but it's good that I noticed it this quick. Great, so let's substitute these values in this equation. And if we do that, we get that Instead of V1, I am writing I, R1, plus, instead of V2, I am writing I, plus R2, equals, instead of V, we are writing I, times R. And of course, this R right here is the equivalent resistance. Maybe we should specify it here as well. So, you see that if we factor the left side, we get this. And now we divide by I so that we have R, e, R equ equivalent R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. So R EQ is equal to R1 plus R2. Notice that R1 and R2 are in series, so if they were to be in parallel, we would not be able to use this formula. And there is another formula for that. I will be driving that formula as well in another video. But this is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and at least learned something. If you have any comments, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.